All right, so we have some data. We want to standardize that data and look for outliers. Uh, this is not a, a difficult thing to do. All we want to do is want to transform each of these observations of how long the LED light bulb lasted in hours into the number of standard deviations away from the average. So for that to be done, we need the average and the standard deviation. Um, so equals average. Um, we have a couple hundred light bulbs here. Yeah, so A2 to A201. Uh, and then equals standard deviation uh, A2 to A201. Sometimes we do this with an expected distribution, so the average and standard deviation are given. Um, so if that's the case, just use that. If not, use the data itself to calculate. Um, all right, so once we have the average and standard deviation, like I said, we're going to transform this 18,222 into number of standard deviations from the mean. So here's our mean and our standard deviation. So the way we do that is by standardized. So we're going to standardize the value. So again, if I just take um, 18,222 and I subtract 19,858, the average is going to say, hey, um, I am 1,636 hours below average um, because this is less than that, right? So it's going to be negative. And then if I want to convert that to number of standard deviations, I just divide by standard deviation. So if this was one standard deviation below it would be negative 2790 over 2790 and give us negative one, one standard deviation below average. So we're just transferring the number into number of standard deviations. So they'll be the same, they're just in a different X scale, uh, the two numbers, uh, but they'll they'll match up uh, identically, okay? Oh, and then we need to lock stuff. Why am I not locking stuff? So we need to lock that, we need to lock that. These two are gonna stay here, so we need to lock our references to average and standard deviation. We'll let the A2 float, because then it'll go down to A3, A4, A5, all the way down. Okay, so we hit enter, and then we double click that down. So if you jump down, they're all, all there. And then if you want to find outliers, just highlight um, either of these. It doesn't matter. Highlight and sort by either of these, smallest to largest or largest to smallest. doesn't matter. They're going to sort in exactly the same um, way because uh, the one that's furthest away will be the the largest value or the smallest value in the standardized because they're in the same, like I said, they're the same, same, just in different scales. And so we'll see something like this where we have something real close to being an outlier here, uh, almost negative three standard deviations. Uh, we, so uh, a questionable outlier here, uh, but everything else seems within three standard deviations on the low side. If we go up to the high side, uh, this light bulb lasted uh, 3.24 standard deviations um, above the mean, so it was a, a longer lasting light bulb. So this is this one is definitely an outline. Okay, for my, if, if, if these are normally distributed, typically we, we're going to call them plus three, more than plus three or less than negative three standard deviations from the mean is what we'll call an outlier. And that's all you do, and it doesn't matter what the data is, any set of numbers, you can calculate the average standard deviation and look. Again, um, sometimes uh, outliers are not just outside of three standard deviations, uh, depending on how the distribution is. But for our class and our purposes, we're just going to do plus outside of plus three and negative three standard deviations. And that is it. It is not a very long thing. It's just about learning how to calculate. So um, let me shut it down, and we'll talk about something else next time.